gov.ph. And it contains a lot of information, a lot of knowledge resources. Well, aside from our corporate information, knowledge about our research projects, it is a receptacle of all PIDS studies in, public, in various, uh, in different types of uh, publication formats, no? All with full text, okay? Na naka PDF, okay? And all of these are downloadable for free. So, libre siya. No? You don't have to pay. Because we advocate uh, for open access. Okay? Of course, um, because we regularly hold seminars and events, our PIDS web website also features um, yung mga forthcoming events natin, even the past events, at yung mga presentations from those seminars. So mga PowerPoint presentations, pwede rin ninyo ma-access sa aming PIDS website. Photos and videos, press releases, knowledge databases. Uh, you can also access the PIDS library to our PIDS website. And if you are interested in um, finding out um, proposed bills in Congress at ano yung comments or ano yung advice na binigay namin sa ating mga legislators, no? kasi from time to time, PIDS, um, our legislators would seek the advice of PIDS senior researchers to give comments no? on um, certain bills that are being um, deliberated upon in Congress. No? So, nandoon din yung mga comments ng ating mga senior researchers. And finally, of course, employment opportunities if you are no, interested in uh, um, sharing your um, you know, skills with us by working with, with PIDS. Okay? So, yun po yung PIDS website. Okay, of course, nowadays, no, social media is a very powerful tool in um, uh, reaching people, uh, streaming this event live on our uh, Facebook page, no? Results and recommendations of the IDS Research Project, news articles and commentaries about this studies published in online and print media, okay? Then, you also use Twitter, you know? Okay, so, same with uh, Facebook. We use Twitter in uh, promoting our new publications, our seminars and events, yung mga results and recommendations of our studies, no? And then, yung, yung, yung same with, ano, yung pigs and the news. Okay? Okay. This is one uh, very useful information, and we do hope you would take time to subscribe to it. It's called the PIDS Updates. It's our monthly e-newsletter. Okay? So, ganyan po yung isura nun. No? So, if you're familiar with e-newsletters, no, it's delivered on your um, inboxes. Sa email nyo, matatanggap nyo if you subscribe to it. So it contains um, kapag, yung, mga, yung mga bagong publications namin for the month, yung mga press releases namin, announcements of new uh, for, uh, um, forthcoming seminars. But there's also one um, important feature of the PIDS updates and it's called the in-focus, no? Kasi every two months, naglalabas kami ng peace updates na may in-focus section. And the in-focus section of the peace updates highlights an important socioeconomic issue and shows readers' attention to related research that has already been undertaken by PIDS. Okay? Because PIDS has done more than 800 studies on various topics, no? And uh, Dr. Balisteros has, has mentioned some of those research themes or research topics. Okay? From agriculture, trade and industry, natural resources, climate change, gender, ano pa? Um, taxation, um, fiscal, um, and fiscal studies, even yung itong pinapost na train, yung sa tax, um, tax generation. Reform. Tax reform, no? Um, ano din, may mga studies din ng PIDS on Okay? So, name it, we have, we have it. Kung ano man ang kailangan yung studies na, especially policy-oriented, meron po kami. So, if you want to be updated on um, new studies or, or upcoming seminars and events, 
Kasi kahit naman po kayo nandito sa province, no? And if you don't have time to go to Manila, you can always um, view our live stream, no? Which is available on our Facebook uh, Facebook page, no? Kasi hindi live stream namin every every event namin, no? So, have this e newsletter that uh, newsletter delivered directly to your inbox by subscribing to uh, that link, no? We will give a copy of this presentation to um, to Mr. Belgamino para ma circulate po sa inyo. Or you can just simply email updates at mail.pids.gov.ph. Okay. Finally, this is one knowledge resource na malaki po yung maiitulong sa inyo. Kanina sinabi ko yung tungkol sa PIDS website. The PIDS website contains all PIDS knowledge resources. Okay? Publications man yan, seminars and events man yan, okay, activities about the institute. But this one, this portal, this database, contains information not just um, produced by PIDS, but by more than 50 member institutions comprising the SORTI network. Okay? Portal, ibig sabihin, it's a daan, it's a door. It's a door to a lot of knowledge resources. It's an online knowledge resource platform. As what I've said, it contains socioeconomic materials not just produced by PIDs. Its main um, objective is to promote uh, the um, evidence-based policy making, okay? evidence-based research, and also to promote linkage among academic and research institutions, government agencies, and international organizations. So, isa siyang database, isa siyang uh, portal, okay? So, we set up uh, the IDS uh, Socioeconomic Research Portal for the Philippines in the year 2000. Siyan uh, po namin sinimulang itong database na ito. And back then, it contains only 2,153 materials from 19 member institutions, okay? But now, as of November 2017, it now contains 5,787 socioeconomic materials written by 3,217 authors and contributed by 53 member institutions. Ano yung makikita niyo sa survey? Iba-iba class kung publication types. Annual, and economic report, books, Compendium, mga digests, discussion papers, economic outlook, mga handbooks, no? journals, and journal actual resources, fiscal policy and taxation, gender and development, governance, health, infrastructure, transportation, and communication, international relations and foreign policy, labor and education, land reform and property rights, migration and development, poverty, trade and industry, urban development, and so we cover almost every aspect of the development. Okay? Let me give you an example. How do you search for publications in the search? Napakadali po. You can either use the um, yung nasa taas, yung, uh, yung nasa taas, you search for publications. You just key in there a keyword or keywords, no? Or you can search by publication type by research theme or by year published, okay? So, a lot of ways. Example. But what I typed there was small and medium enterprises. So when I typed small and medium enterprises, Nung, 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 uh, in rest in search, no? it, um, the search results gave me 41 materials. Okay? So, yun, yun yung ano. So, SMEs na, nilagay ko lang, small and medium enterprises, meron na 41 economic materials makikita kayo so sa sort of database example ano yung example na makikita niyo 
Okay, so I clicked one of those uh, search results. No, hindi ko yung RPS 2016-02 titled Does Innovation Mediate Good Firm Performance? So, what you can see in, in, in metadata is the title of the publication, the abstract, institution, authors, keywords, year published, location of material, and number of number of times downloaded. Bakit merong number of times downloaded? Kasi about 90% of socio-economic social materials contained in the search team have full text that can be downloaded for free. Down. So, okay. so this is a virtual knowledge library. It's free for all. Okay? So yun, yung makikita nyo sa survey. Okay. Ano pa yung other survey services na ino-offer ng project na ito? Well, we have dito sa left-hand side, yung makikita kayong page. Ang title is Researchers and Authors. Well, survey has this section that um, basically list down names of researchers and their fields of expertise. So yung names and dito sa left, yung fields of expertise and dito sa right. Okay? So, those names were submitted by uh, the member institutions. No? And our objective here is to promote knowledge exchange, collaboration in um, research collaboration between and among um, researchers and um, research institutions. No? Kasi kung ano ba, may kailangan nyo ng experts sa ganito, kailangan nyo ng consultants sa ganito, you have, or you have a research topic, sino kaya, sino kaya pwede na makakolaborate dun sa ganitong research key institution. And this is a very useful tool, no? So that's for researchers. Now we have also yung uh, isa naming list, yung list of authors. By authors, we are referring there to survey authors. So all survey authors, na I've said, di ba merong uh, around 3,000, 2,000 survey authors, if you're a survey author, your name is in the list of survey authors, and if, if you click click on a name, no? Um, ang, ang result nun is um, you will be brought to a page wherein all the uh, publications of that author um, that can be found in the survey are, are listed on that page. Okay? So what other survey services do we offer? Um, we, we also produce the survey monthly. This is an electronic newsletter that we uh, and it contains um new publications in survey um announcements from different the different member institutions events mga seminars anything nagaling dun sa any any uh, relevant information coming from the survey member institution that they would like to broadcast or they would like to promote to their fellow members as a survey monthly on and then quarterly we produce a survey news so in certain news, it's it's like a uh, it's a, it's a newsletter, it's an electronic newsletter that we produce on a quarterly basis, no? Para nation survey monthly, oh, pero mas marami siyang information. Um, it also uh, oh, has what we call as the socio-economic oh, oh. um, issue of the day, oh, SEIS, where we feature a particular socio-economic issue and the related um, Facebook page. We're also on Facebook. Plus, um, we also hold orientations, briefings on survey in various universities in the Philippines. So, nagkaano kami, nagkaroshu kami para i-promote itong database na ito. And also, yung, yung mga knowledge research also ng PIDS. And um, during PIDS and sem PIDS seminars and events, we also take time to, um, to promote and to uh, inform the public about this knowledge so, okay? so, ano so, yun na po, hope, um, na hopefully, na, Hello? through this uh, brief presentation, alaman po ninyo kung ano yung 
maari pa yung makuha, no? Sabi ko nga, itong physical access is it's being given by by the peace warrior na inanagrate natin. But of course, it has limitations, no? This one, no? This is something that it's that is uh, available to you that you can access anytime, anywhere, free of charge, no? Of course, as long as there's internet connection, no, yun naman yung But what we would like to emphasize here is that these knowledge resources are are for for you to use, no? free of charge, wala pong bayo. Ang ano naman yung uh, laging ay para makatulong sa uh, Filipino public, ano, uh, na mas, yung, yung tinatawag natin na social economic education to our studies would like to uh, contribute to uh, creating a more inform informed citizenry as far as the social economic uh, issues is concerned. Okay? So, thank you very much po. And again, nagpapasalamat po kami sa um, trust na binigay niyo sa amin para mag-partner po sa PIDS through the, the Speaks Corner uh, project. Thank you. And if you have any questions, nandito po ang PIDS team para sumagot po sa ano mga katanong. Thank you very much, okay. Ma'am Sheila. Before we entertain the questions coming from our audience, uh, this inauguration will never be complete without the acceptance message of our president, which will be uh, represented by our vice president for administration, Dr. Albert Naperi. Uh, you know, uh, good noon. I am not here uh, having a feeling of eagerness to accept, but I have here uh, very eager to ask something about the presentations, especially on the publications. Uh, but as the uh, executive secretary tells us that I have to pin in uh, in behalf of my president. So the first questions that I would like to pose for uh, Sir Palimino and the rest of the team of the pigs, why only now? <laughs> Why only now you come to Sorsobol? Uh, well, in fact, you have already gone through uh, in other places of the country. And why only now that you leave to Sorsobol in order for us to become only a 20, 25th uh, recipient? You know, Sorsobol State College has the same objectives with you. We wanted to discover knowledge and to share knowledge to the people of the Sosogon and to the knowledge of the country in general. But although we are too late to our partnership, ang sabi nga ni Baga, ang sabi nga nila, uh, yes, better late than never. But we will assure you that accepting this uh, partnership with us, I will assure you and we will assure you with uh, the leadership of our president, and with uh, the backup of the uh, director of research, the deans of the grad schools and the campus administrator around and other officials of the institution, we will accept the challenge that even if we are the 25th member, but with regards to quality and efficiency of our linkages, we will be the number one at the end of 2018. So, without uh, further ado by the community for the development of our country here in Sosogon and in the Philippines. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. I think our Vice President for Administration has said it with absolute conviction that uh, our partnership will be strengthened by this linkages, uh, especially in uh, improving and intensifying our research capability as an education, of high, as an institution of higher learning. Actually, to give you a little uh, uh, 
a sort of a rational as to paano tayo nakakonect sa EIDS. It was purely an accident, ma'am, Sheila. And then, okay. yes, it was purely an accident because I was sent by the president for official travel uh, sa Manila to, to inquire on with regards to our staff to follow up on the status of our application for conversion for university. And I am happy to uh, to tell you, uh, my dear students and my dear colleagues, that yesterday there was this uh, Senate Committee hearing on education, and one of the uh, uh, agenda was the uh, conversion of Sorcerer State College into a university. And I am happy to inform you that based on the information that I gathered from the uh, author of the bill, uh, it, was, it has already passed through the committee hearing at the Senate, and hopefully to before the year end of the school year, not the calendar year, of the school year, this, uh, this bill will already become a republic. So mostly, all lahat naman daw ng mga application for conversion, during that committee hearing were uh, approved, uh, including our bill. So, uh, yan ay isa sa mga update natin, another milestone sa source of state college. And then noon, pumunta ako sa Senate, uh, months ago yun, I, I happened to talk to one of the staff of Senator Angara. Uh, and then, while we were talking, I happened to see one book, ma'am. Uh, yung sa e economics, it, it's about economics. And then, uh, I happened to scan the book, and then I, I really find it good. So, nagtanong ako, sabi ko, saan ba ito sir pwede makuha o makabili itong libro? Actually, it's, it's not actually for sale. It is given for free. Pumunta ka ngayon ay na dito sa Philippine Institute for Development Studies. Una nga, ay mali ang address na ito kasi sa Makati ako pumunta. Yung pala, lumipat na kayo doon sa Sentris. Yeah, oo. So, doon muna ako unang pumunta sa Makati. Then somebody told me, wala na ngayon. Diyan ang doon na sa Quezon City, na sa Quezon Avenue. So, um, nung pumunta ako doon sa Quezon Avenue, uh, pumunta ako doon sa office niyo po, Cyberpath. And then, doon nagsimula ang usapan uh, between the Source of State College and the Philippine Institute of uh, the for Development Studies of coming up or establishing partnership. At ito na nga yun. Ito na nangyari na. Um, it's now a realization ng ating uh, linkage or partnership between PIDS and then the Source of State College which only started as an accident. So thank you very much, uh, uh, ma'am, for coming and then for giving us this opportunity to be a part of your uh, what you call thrust as an institute for development studies. Now, if you have questions, our visitors here will be very much willing to uh, 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 what you call this answer. And perhaps our vice president has already uh, started the uh, the question by asking why just now. Who would like to answer that? Anybody? Perhaps the, the, the vice president is very much. <laughs> This is the, you know, the maybe an information that we would like to uh, to ask. Uh, this pertains on the publication uh, because uh, we have now a policy in our graduate school program, which was approved by the board three years ago, and we have now a hard act on the implementations of the policy. Uh, and our supposed graduates, those are graduate school not coming. Medyo nahihirapang mag-graduate because of the lack of publications because we require now our graduating students to publish uh, the research in in the publications which is considered as as a recognized and has a quality. So in the presentations you have a publication, can we, can, can the source of policy college, particularly our students in the graduate school program, avail of the publication? Of, Publish. Publish in in your publication. On the first, on the first comment. Uh, well, I assure you, there is no biases 
in the choice of where we should uh, be putting uh, the PIDS corner. It so happens that the first, uh, probably initial uh, PIDS corners that we had was because we have already an existing link or uh, networking with that existing university. Mm -hmm. And Tabi uh, Ali, um, Sir Edwin, it was by accident. Eh? Uh, but actually, our objective is really to put up this PIDS corner in every, uh, at least in, in every uh, municipality or, or region initially, and then uh, bring it down to the province. And I don't know if we have the budget to bring it down further into the municipality. So we on. Uh, I'm sure to, uh, I'm sure kasama rin kayo dun sa um, uh, aming listing. Uh, it's just a good, a good opportunity that you you are able to to see one of the publications that we have. Now with regards to partnership, there are actually several ways. Uh, yeah, so one is uh, through this uh, uh, part of the survey. So if you have already I was talking to uh, direct, uh, Dr. Ryan and, and he said you have some existing studies actually already na, na wala pa rin um, medium in which you are able to provide the, uh, or to, to link it into the academic network. So this survey would be one way. The second is yung sabi niyo na uh, publications. Okay? So uh, I think Sheila can elaborate more on that because she is uh, the one that who is ever writing and accepting uh, uh, papers for, uh, for, for publication into this uh, journal. Okay. And maybe we can mention that uh, although uh, probably the Hindi, not everyone knows about PIDS, but actually we, uh, as I was saying, we are one of the top uh, research institutions in, uh, in Asia. And we are actually being evaluated, as I, men I mentioned to one of uh, 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 Dr. Ryan, uh, the, uh, by the University of Pennsylvania. And uh, for the three consecutive years, we are uh, the top among, yeah, probably Sheila can. <laughs> can uh, program of the University of Pennsylvania. So, <clears throat> so, etong um, 2016, we ranked um, 38 among the top 100 think tanks in Southeast Asia and the Pacific. So, that's, um, yeah, and then we would like to, you know, to not just maintain that ranking, but hopefully, must better pa, better ranking in the uh, in the coming years. No? But in terms of uh, yung iba-iba kasi category yung ranking eh. Um, do sa social policy think back for the past three years, uh, we rank number one in um, Southeast Asia. Okay? So yun. But of course, ang, ang palagang objective namin is yung ranking that's, you know, that's, uh, natutuwa kami, no? That's, um, something na proud kami, kinakatuwa namin, pero bonus na lang yun, kasi ang talaga namang objective namin ay makatulong sa Filipino people to our research studies. Makatulong sa ating policy makers, maka-assist sa kanila to make more informed decisions, no? Kasi dapat ang mga policy at mga programa ay pinag-aralan, hindi lang sinasabi natin suntok sa buwan, no? Dapat sila ay talagang sinaliksik, pinag-aralan, uh, bahay sa mga datos, at masusing pag-aaral. At yun yung ginagawa ng PIDS. Kumagawa tayo ng mga policy research para makatulong sa ating mga mambabatas, sa ating mga government officials na makagawa ng mas uh, epektibong mga polisi at programa na talagang ayon sa datos at masusig na Good. But ang sabi, ang sabi nga namin kanina, hindi lang naman policy makers ang aming kliyente. 
kami nilihinan. It's, it's the public in general. It's, it's you, you know, mga educators, mga stu students natin. So, yung manawag ang aming kumbaga, ang aming uh, mandato in terms of uh, audience and, and impact. Now, um, just want to add to what just want to add this is sinabi ni Ma'am Teng, bakit na yun lang ano? Well, because we say the best for last. <laughs> 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 it's not the last, but kumbaga for the year. For the year, we see the best for last. <laughs> and of course, 25th is our 25th. It's for your so milestone, milestone. Hindi ko binabola yung source of state college, ha? Anyway, there's a question ni, ni, at, na ating DD for administration. There's one publication out of the IDS where external researchers can, uh, can use, no? Or can, can tap uh, to publish their research studies. Oh, the Philippine Journal of Development. So this, this is a referee <coughs> journal. Okay. Uh, this has been in existence for more than 40 years. And we are um, um, applying soon for Scopus or ISI accreditation. No? No? But I can assure you, we produce only quality, only quality <coughs> studies, quality manuscripts here. Kasi dumadaan talaga siya sa very rigorous na the review process. I must admit, the rejection rate ay uh, medyo mataas, ngunit this is a challenge for all of us, sa ating, uh, sa ating mga researchers, sa ating faculty members, to really mentor our students ano, to produce those quality outputs. No? So this is one outlet uh, na pwede itap po ng mga faculty members dito sa Sorsico State College and yung mga graduate students. So, Nakikita naman po din dito kung paano mag-submit, um, no? Uh, ng inyong mga... Okay. So, simply, um, uh, go to our website, no? Sa website natin, nakikita nyo yung may link doon sa Philippine Journal of Development, no? So, nakikita nyo doon how to uh, um, format your, your manuscripts. Uh, para ano siya, um, nagpa-comply siya sa guidelines ng Philippine Journal of Development. Okay? So, yun po. Um, hope, maka, maka ano po eh, maka nagkagabi ng uh, submission uh, from, from okay? So, this contains um, yun, yun, yung URL ng ating mga online resources. Yun po ang ating, uh, yung presentation namin kanina. Okay, and the PIDS website, the Facebook, the Twitter, <coughs> the updates, newsletter, and finally the CERT team. Okay? And then sa likod yung ating iba-ibang categories ng PIDS. So, thank you po. So if you have further questions, then nandito lang po kami. Pwede po ba i-share yung ibang resources, lalo na yung mga trade copies sa ibang campus na atin? Lalo na yung bulan po, kasi sila po yung may public at sila din po yung may graduate school. Anyway, may mga trade copies po dyan. Or baka pwede nyo pong dagdagan na lang para maging apat, maging isang campus na. Gila <laughs> <laughs> po ba campus? Apat. Ah, apat na campus. Sige po. Uh, rest assured that um, every time that we have a new publication, meron pong copy, copies ang um, um, hindi lang po yung piece for you dito pero po lahat ng 25 PIDS corners of us what it means. Okay, any other question? By the way, uh, we would like to acknowledge the presence of our campus administrator of the Social and City State College Main Campus, Dr. Helen Lara. Okay, any other question? <laughs> sa ating ano, mga estudyante, baka meron kayong katanungan sa ating Director for Research. Okay, sa Dean, ng ating graduates. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, given the understanding that uh, the graduate students uh, have published their thesis or dissertations, what is the, the most uh, duration, the, the time that you 
uh, publish a certain applied research. Because uh, they, were, they, were, they were given uh, this five years in order to graduate, and what, that's one of the requirements. A journal and article, so, um, in the case of the Philippine Journal of Development, maximum of 8,000 words. Okay, so once we receive the manuscript, it will undergo a uh, what we call as um, uh, first look, no? Parang initial review, and then if it passes the initial review, then it will undergo a double blind review process that uh, normally takes up to two months. Then, kung halimbawa na-accept siya, depende, iba-iba. Is it um, usually condition of acceptance, no? Accepted revisions, no? If it's accepted revisions, then uh, the, um, the, the author has to uh, revise the manuscript based on the reviewer's comments. So, another, ano naman yan, pag mag-revise na naman, so, after niya i-revise, isasabi ko rin sa akin, no? Titignan kung, nas, kung uh, uh, nasatisfy ba niya yung, uh, yung mga comments ng reviewers, no? Kung okay na, no? So, pagbita-bita talaga lang mahaba yung proseso, ano? Pag mag-aano mag sa journal, uh, mabilis na nga yung six months, eh. Sir, mabilis na talaga yung six months. But the rest assured naman that uh, kami naman, as part of the editorial, uh, editorial no? ay na dito uh, makatulong na mag-expedite yung review process and to keep the author informed every step of the way um, about the, the, the status of his or So, maano talaga? It's a lab laborious process. Um, itong ating mga faculty members dito, for sure you're aware of how tedious it is to publish in a journal. But it has its Rewards, no? Okay, any other question? Do you have a question? Probably a bit of the College of Engineering. No question? Okay, so, Siguro dahil the Dean of the Liberate Programs, the Director for Research, uh, President of the uh, student, uh, Supreme Student Government, other officers, directors, of, Director of Planning, the Executive Assistant, and most of all, uh, our guest this morning, Dr. Maripeo Bamesteros, uh, uh, Dr. Sheila C.R., uh, we are uh, honored by your presence this morning for this uh, very important uh, purpose which is about uh, uh, on research publication. So we uh, are looking for uh, more support to this institution in the coming uh, months probably. And uh, of course, the institution also is very uh, supportive of your uh, endeavor or your advocacy in Sosa State College. So, uh, uh, in, in closing, may uh, I uh, extend our thanks. Thank you very much for coming over, and uh, we hope that uh, you will not uh, fail to support also Sosa State College. Thank you very much. Okay, at this juncture, we uh, officially end our inauguration and officially start the partnership between Social State College and the Philippine Institute for Development Studies. Good day to everyone.